Hello learners, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about why sucrose is non-reducing sugar. We know that sucrose is a sugar which is also known as stable sugar but it is a non-reducing sugar. Why? First of all, let's talk about what reducing sugars are. The reducing sugars, they are small carbohydrates. Carbohydrates mean they have carbon, hydrogen and oxygen and they are capable of acting as reducing agent towards metal. Reducing agents mean that they are going to give their hydrogen to other molecule and in return they are going to be oxidized. The reason sugars can react with these metals is because of their cyclic hemiacetyl functional group. Now what is hemiacetyl functional group? Hemiacetyl means that one to one carbon, one OH and one OR is attached. If this type of arrangement is present in a sugar, it's going to be a reducing sugar. Here you can see we have a glucose molecule. Here we have a carbon and you can see to this carbon one OH group is attached and one OR group is attached. Here R means that any functional group can be attached so we can see that here carbon is attached. So because of this arrangement the glucose molecule is a reducing sugar. Similarly if you see here the fructose molecule with this carbon you can see we have OH group and then we have O C group. So this is why glucose and fructose they are reducing sugars. But if no hemiacetyl group is present and only acetyl groups are present it means that this sugar is non-reducing sugar. Acetyl means that there are going to be two OR groups instead of OH group here we will also have OR group. So a quick way of telling if a sugar is a reducing sugar is to notice whether or not it has hemiacetyl group and if the hemiacetyl group is absent it means that it's going to be a non-reducing sugar. So we have to keep this thing in mind when we are studying the structure of sucrose. Now coming towards the sucrose, sucrose is a molecule which is made up of two monosaccharides which are glucose and fructose. Here we know this is glucose glucose and this is fructose. Both of these sugars are reducing sugars because they have hemiacetyl groups. But sucrose has no hemiacetyl groups when these two both sugars are going to combine with each other. They are this OH group are going to make bond with each other and as a result this hemiacetyl group is going to be converted into acetyl group. Here we can see we have carbon, we have this OR, we have this OR. So we said that acetals means that two OR. When two OR are attached with one carbon it means that acetyl group is present. So in sucrose we can see that these two hemiacetyl groups they are fused with each other to form a acetyl group and because of the presence of this acetyl group there is no hemiacetyl group and there is no reducing ability. Because of this reason the sucrose is a non reducing sugar. Now both reducing sugars are attached with each other through glycosidic bonds to form acetals and they are not available for the reducing reaction. And because of this reason we can say that sucrose is a known reducing sugar. So whenever you are going to find out if a sugar is a reducing sugar or a non reducing sugar, go to check if they have hemiacetyl group or they have acetyl group. If they have acetyl means 2 OR group it means they are non reducing sugar but if they are having hemiacetyl group means 1 OH and 1 OR group it means they are going to be a reducing sugar. So that was all about why sucrose is non reducing sugar. If you have any question related to this topic you can ask me in the comment section. I will see you in the next video.